Okay, folks, let's take a look at Age of Grit. Uh, this is another one of those like trading games where you go between towns and have occasional um, fights en route. And you do some trading, do some questing, and all that sort of thing. If you saw my recent video on This Merchant Life, you'll know kind of what to expect, only this time we're very much in steampunk Wild West territory. So a very different setting indeed. Uh, this has apparently been um, in the works for a few years, and this is now coming into early access. We're currently in version 0.2 beta. Um, I think they're apparently going to try and finish the game by the end of 2000. 2020. I'm going to start a new game. And because this is early access, it is limited at the moment to like um, only a small region of the full map. We are that ship down there, and we have a range on this airship. We, we can't go too far yet, so it looks like we are on our way to Timberhorn Lake. Engage. And we will have random encounters as we go, possibly meeting other airships. Oh, here we go. We're already on day five. Airship encountered, lads! Oh, do I have to do a Wild West Voices? This is going to be tricky. It's Haddy Cadwell. Howdy there! How's your rusty old ship faring? Rock well! Uh, fine enough, I suppose. I'm Jebediah Rockwell. You got the shipment or what? Uh, well, of course I does. Fresh from the core. Just flew it over the border this morning. Let's get on with this. Yeah, yeah, fine, Mr. Grouchy. Um... Appreciate you taking it the rest of the way to Timber. Oh, I can't do the voices very well. I'm not going to be able to do um, bloody Firefly voices. Um, yeah, damn right it is. Yeah, owe me big. Dot, dot, dot. Just why couldn't you do it yourself? Well, I got to hurry back to the core lickety split. There's a big shipment of munition waiting for me, and it's a time sensitive gig. We're going to haul it over to Compact Territory, all the way to Justice City. That's a long way to go. Well, you yeah, don't lie, Rockwell, but it pays more than a few bits. I can still make a long trip for a big payday. The money's that good, eh? Nods. If you're interested, I might just secure another load. Probably enough to fill, to fill that flying pile of scrap you call a ship. For a healthy cut, of course. Well, uh, I got business to attend to here in the guild. Well, suit yourself, but I tell you, there's damn good coin to be made. So, just what is this shipment anyways? The one I'm bringing to Timberhorn. Belt buckles! Damn awful cheap ones too. I think they're, tamps, they're stamped tin. Hey, ha! That's what you smuggled across the border? I thought it was guns or some sh stuff. It's a big old crate of them. Work was slow, so I took this little side gig. Dot, dot, dot. Just take him to Sully Phelps in Tinger Timberhorn Lake. He'll give you half a bit for each. Sounds swell. Item received, crate of belt buckles. And that. Well, I must be off. See you around, Rockwell. So, so this is not going to be a fight, so we don't need to worry about battling just yet. We continue on our journey. Range is getting lower. We're nearly there. Oh, there we go. Day six, we've encountered another airship. This might be a, this might actually be a fight. Let's see who it is. Yeah, he looks fighty. Boy, howdy! Looks like we caught a big fish today! Another fly to swat. Give us your cargo, we might just let you go free. Our oh, cargo? Today we got 144 cheapest cow dung belt buckles. The hell you chin ragging on about? Hope you got your fares in order. You're about to meet your maker. Nuff jibber jabber, duckaroo, you're all done for. Arr, Jim lad. I'm a pirate now. A sky pirate of some description. Anyway, let's get on with this. <laughs> so this is the fight screen. Uh, we have a certain amount of steam. We've got ten steams. And at the start of every term, you get more steam. So either I spend it all in one go, or I kind of squirrel it a bit. And we've got a couple of weapons. We've got the long gun and the cannon. The cannon's a bit expensive. It requires 20 steam to operate at the, at the moment. There's a lot of stats here and a lot of stuff about die rolls and things. Or I could just shoot them with my long gun, which is only worth six steam. Um, I think, I haven't, I've been trying to experiment with some of this. This is a sensor over here, the Gherkin wave can. And this is over here is a steam engine. I think if I, I think if I give it 10, that might, um, there we go. Uh, Peterson revolving rifle has been completely defected by heavy armor. That's, that's, they tried to shoot me. Enemy ship performed a sensor sweep, added four accuracy bonus. Total accuracy bonus is four. So, nah. <laughs> I think I might just try and shoot him. So, shoot him twice, because I've got 12 steam. Ooh, that got you. Your whiskey long gun has... Oh god, it's gone, gone, gone by too fast there. Um, has dealt 13 damage. Um, damage somewhat reduced by armour. 
Enemy Peterson revolving rifle is dealt 18 damage. Oh, I took a bit of a hit there. Oh, the enemy ship has achieved Mac accuracy, which I think, as I say, you do with sensor sweeping. And we're, getting, we're now getting 12 steam at the start of each term, turn, which is handy. I think that might have been something to do with the steam engine. But let's perform a sensor sweep for 9, which will take up all our steam, pretty much. Uh, complete the effect of that. Your ship performed a sensor sweep. Uh, added two accuracy bonus. So, oh, my sensor's now malfunctioned. So the whole point of these battles is to like um, rotate between what you're actually using, otherwise some of them overheat and things bad well, bad things happen. Now I've got up to 15 steam, so I'll do a little light tonking. In fact, I'll, I'll spend that a sensor and the regular gun. Disabled system? Oh dear. Hang on. My sensor has malfunctioned, so I won't be able to use that anymore for the time, well, for the time being, anyway. It looks like my ship is sparking a bit. So we've got, I've only got 12 steam this time. Um, oh, the, the long gun's disabled as well. Hmm. Might not be able to do much. Can't use my cannon yet. Let's save things. Uh-oh. Mac accuracy. So now I've got up to 24 steam, because I didn't spend any. So this time, let's hit him with the cannon. 15 damage. That's not great. That can do some real serious damage, but it's all about luck, really. So 60, we've got 16 seem to spend. I'll fire at him once. Oh, that's disabled still. Hmm. So is it, the sensor's back online. Maybe I'll give some more steam. So, sensor sweep by them, and they've achieved max accuracy. Now we're up to 24, so let's hit him with a cannon again. Oh, it backfired and missed. And doing my own ship for damage. Ouchie poos. Right, 17 steam. Well, there's any way of repairing the damn thing. Give us some more steam. I wonder if that's to do with maneuverability or evasion, but I haven't actually quite worked it out yet. We've taken a little bit of damage there. Still can't use that. Can use the cannon. Deflected. Oh, bloody hell, and the cannon's malfunctioned. When I played this first time, this was this battle was trivial, but I'm being very unlucky, I think. Ah. Yes. I can now use this. Lots of shots. Sodom. <laughs> Pepper them with shots. 14 damage. Eh, but they, they return 10 damage. So I don't want really to overuse this. My engine temperature is actually now going up. Um. Let's sensor sweep. Try and get some accuracy on the on the go. Accuracy is maxed out at 4. So next turn, 17. Let's give them 12. Their sensor malfunctioned this time. Can barely hit them. These are bastards. Bastards. And we're not going to do anything. Their sensor malfunctioned. We deflected, so that didn't hurt me at all. We're up to 31. Let's try. Just hit them with everything we've got. Boom! Oh, wow! <laughs> That was a good, very good thing. Your oak, your oak bark cannon has dealt 30 damage. Piercing shot punches through armour. Well, so I don't need to do... Let's just do that. And that should hopefully sort him out. It didn't. Oh, yes it did! Thank God for that. Get out of my sky, you pricks. That was way more confusing than I was hoping. Right, salvage items. Sorted fur pelts. Also take the cash. Take all. Please let us get to town now. See, last time I won a battle, I didn't actually get um, earn any thing other than cash. So we've repaired the ship, and now we can go into the town, where there will be things aplenty. Timberhall Lake was established as a small hunting settlement way back around the turn of the century, roughly 90 years ago. It has since grown into a respectable city, renowned for its folksy charm. Many wealthy travellers come here from across the west to experience life in the frozen frontier, but to do so with the amenities and comforts of civilization. The Timberhorn Saloon is well loved for its fine dining and luxurious accommodations and brothel. Really look. There's plenty of shopping to be had here, if you have the coin, that is. Let's not go to the brothel. There's no brothel, what am I talking about? Right, so let's first of all go and speak to Sully D. Phelps. He, I believe, is wanting our belt buckles. Howdy there! Uh oh very deep voice. Howdy, I've got a shipment for you. A bit of old crate full of her belt buckles. I, I can't do that. They are finally here. 144 of them, correct? I suppose as such. 
Rockwell's crew bring in the crate and cracks open the lid. Takes one out, brush oh that's <laughs> takes one out, brushes some of the packing hay, and examines it. Very good! Fine as a fiddle. Well, good sir, here's your payment. Half a bit, I believe. Was the rate I discussed with Mr. Johansson. Thank you kindly. Received 22 bits, and we've completed the job. So that was basically a nice little introductory mission. Oh, we, 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 yeah, we're currently just introducing it um, ourselves, and we're now in the shop, eventually. Here in the city, coal is always in demand, apparently. Right, so in our cargo hold, we do have assorted fur pelts, and we can flog these to matey pie. There, got rid of them. Right, right load of our bollocks, that was. So, let's see, what can we buy? Well, there's not that much we can buy by the looks of things. Yeah, all the yellow ones are possible. Now, is that an improvement? I don't really know if these are improvements on what we've got already. Uh, let's have a look. What's this, for instance? A powerful sensor, very effective at jamming enemy systems. Well, let's have a look at the steam engine. Prone to malfunction. Well, fine. Needs to be cleaned frequently. Oh, God. So, starting steam per turn. Base engine boost, two. Engine boost per additional rank, two. Max steam per turn, 20. So, that's... I think that is an upgrade. Hmm. What else is there? I mean, the weapons... We can't afford the weapons other than this one, which seems... Might be similar to what it was before the other one. Reliability, 90. Accuracy, 10. Backfires. Well, I could just buy some boots. Some lovely, lovely boots. Or I could have buy some fur pelts back for no reason at all. I can only just afford the um this. Yes, well. Actually, no, I've got 359. Yeah, that's fine. Well, let's try the engine. See if that actually does any diff. Um, any. See if that does anything. Essentially, right. Let's talk to the guild soldier. Welcome, season! Okay, let's not talk to him. Hey, look at all these ships flapping about the place. Let's talk to Elisa Lee. Yeah, Rockwell. Yeah, that's right. And you, yeah, Lisa Lee, the infamous Lisa Lee. Well, you're a bounty hunter, ain't ya? You looking for trouble? I ain't no bounty hunter. Just the captain of a cargo ship. Nah, horse dung. You brought him in those Herrero brothers. Yeah, well, I double. I double. Well, you're doubling now. Uh, don't worry, I ain't here to bring you in. Well, if you change your mind, there's about a dozen of my boys within earshot. I hear tell you I'm a deadly man with a sick shooter. Drink some more whiskey. Libel, you can take out a handful of them, but I reckon you'll be meet your maker before you've got all dozen. Yeah, right. Well then, now can I have service? Now, what's the story about Mason Blackwell? Mason, he's a crook just like me. Yeah. He operates quite the criminal enterprise. She's drinking a lot of whiskey. Now, the guild tends to look the other way. Blackwell's a talented man when it comes to greasing the proper palms. I've, I've, I've just literally just abandoned her. <laughs> I, I don't want to talk to her anymore, apparently. Oh, Mason T. Blackwell. Hello, and welcome, good sir. And what brings you to our fine establishment on this beautiful day? Let's, let's ask for work. Oh, indeed, there must surely must be always plenty of work for an airship captain in a big town and such as this. If you don't, okay, I'm asking what business is in. You mean business besides overseeing this here brut beautiful brothel brackets saloon? Oh, all sorts. I double in sorts of business. I strive to diversify as much as is possible, such as into the brothel trade. But shush, all legitimate interests. <laughs> I'm mocking him now, and he's raising an eyebrow. Unfortunately, at the present, I don't need the fine services of an airship captain such as yourself. Uh, I operate my own private line transportations. It's more discreet that way. However, I might just have a job for you in the near future, that is. Well, till next time, piss off. Hmm. I don't like his tone, frankly. What the sheriff? Howdy! Read a spell. Howdy, Tiberius. That sheriff! Uh... Howdy, Sheriff Smith. Yeah. Oh, that was actually the, um... Yeah. <laughs> I don't think there was much percentage. Let's... Well, let's actually try and see what else we can do. We've got the... 
Those are all the, um... Okay, these are all the jobs we've already done. So we haven't got any new jobs in yet. Our inventory is... Oh, here we go, look! We can actually um, look at what we've got here. I don't know if we've actually upgraded what we um, did or not. Was this the right one? Otherwise, how do you actually change it? Oh, oh, hang on. Ha! That's how you do it. Ship upgrades. Right. Now, how do I actually do anything about that, then? Maybe I, should, maybe I drag it. Oh, piss. Apparently not. Oh, something happened. I think I just installed it. So that's a single stack steam engine, which I've just taken out. And this is a multi-exhaust steam plant. Ah, uh, okay. So I think that's an improvement. Better bloody be an improvement. So let's see where else we can actually go now. Be interested to see where else. The stronghold looks like. Oh, Cloudberry Creek. That's doable. Let's go over to the Cloudberry Kingdom. Flapping over the mountains a bit. Day nine. Uh oh. Let's see if we can do better than this. If this is a fight. Oh my god, that looks a tasty ship. This is a stick up. Well, that's fairly straightforward. Now, let's see if we can actually do any good here. Got ten steams for things. So, whoops. So, it's going to cost us seven steam this time. For what? <laughs> Disarray. We're well, we deflected things. So, now we've got up to 15. We need 20 for the cannon. So, let's just start fighting. They've only got 80 health. So, that shouldn't be too bad. Although, three damage ain't great. Well, it looks like all their stuff is malfunctioning. So, good, frankly. Uh, let's just let's let's do a little sensor sweep whilst they're malfunctioning. Although they're still able to hurt. Uh, damage has gone up, or accuracy has gone up. Uh, we're up to 18. I'm going to increase accuracy again. Maybe we can really do some damage on this turn with our cannon. 15! Ooh. Their long gun has malfunctioned. Our steam is currently at 13. Let's give them a double tonking with that. Oh, that was not good. And let's just do that. I think I'm rotating things nicely. Their long gun is still overheating. Ah, cannon. Let's cannon them. Oh, we got we didn't get so lucky that time. And their machine gun is overheated. Their damage is being... They've got a lot of armor by the looks of it. Right, let's do that. And we've got up to 23 now. Oh, look, our engine temperature is actually flapping up, so we've got to be careful not to keep on uh, using that for whatever reason. But let's just cannon them. Disarray, 10 damage. So we're doing some good. We, we are doing some good, slowly but surely. Enemy ship is in disarray. Oh, we can th hit him three times. Let's hope this actually does some damage this time. I don't think these are... Oh, 22. Yes, good. I was going to say, I don't, I'm not sure that weapon was very effective against them, but I think that was just first time. Right, so what have we got? We've got 17 steams. Um, let's... We may... I may try... I may just do nothing this turn and try and really hit them on the next one. Cannon. And shots. Come on. Missed! Ow, that backfired on us nastily. But still, we got them down to 11. And we may be able to finish them off, hopefully, with these shots. Please, please, finish them off. Not quite! I may get another... I may be able to get another couple of attacks out of this before it explodes. This might... This should finish them off. If it doesn't, it's a shit gun. I'll throw it overboard. Ah, there we go. 24 damage. That's more like it. If you do die, you do basically get towed back to the nearest town and you lose a bit of cash. Only 26 quid. Oh, dear. Come on, let's get to Cloudbury. Do do Day 11? Nothing's much happening today. Oh, Icebox City. Can you actually go into the bridge? Oh, 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 here we go. Let's meet the lads. Hello, the lads. It's Wesley Whitmore. I don't think you can... I don't think he's very talkative, though, from what I remember from last time. Yeah, he just basically says hello. Zachary Lim. How are you doing, Cap? Yeah, 
a fine selection of ads. But let's ignore them. <laughs> that pauses the game. Anyway, we are now in Cloudbury. We fueled ship for 22 bits. Uh, 26 uh, hate, um, health points of the ship has been repaired. Uh, a sleepy town. Cloudbury Creek is fairly significant dot on the map. Uh, most th The fonts in this game. Mostly forgotten by the rest of the world. Folks here are hearty and independent. Uh, the creek's home to excellent fat mouth river salmon. The locals eat it with everything. Fish and beans, fish jerky, fried fish sandwiches, fish tacos, fish noodle soup. St I'm getting hungry. I haven't actually eaten tonight yet. Anyway, sorry, I'm still playing a game, aren't I? Right, here we go. Oh, this is actually quite pretty. I've got no one to talk... I mean, I've got no one particularly in mind to talk to. Let's try and find a, some kind of tradesman. F sir! Yeah. Ah, oh, really, sir, I'd be wondering if... Well, first off, my name's Mr. Frank McDermott. It's, it's, it is a ding fine pleasure to meet... Uh, make your acquaintance. Name's Rockwell. Well, very good. Nice to meet you. Well, sir, I got a swell deal for you. A darn swell deal. I've got some of the finest... Well, not more pelts. I'll have, the, I'll have some pelts. Apparently the dandy pelts. Yes, what animal? Well, sir, Mr. Airship Captain, I've got mostly beaver pelts. But there's some coyote and some deer. Some very nice deer pelts. All told, I've got 300. Them's all bundled up and ready to go. I'll even help take them down to your ship. What am I going to do with 300 pelts? Well, you head your ship back down to uh, Timberhorn. Um, you sell them mighty easy down there. Make yourself a dandy penny, sir. Yay. Trade. Oh, I can let them go for 500... Oh dear, I haven't actually got that much cash. Steep. Well, perhaps if I could help you out? Perhaps I can do it for 400 bits. Hmm. I don't have it, do I? I'm going to pretend I have. It, it, damn, ain't not enough money right now. I'll be back. Alright. So he wants 400 quid. I ain't got it. What a prick. Howdy, you new to town. Yes, ma'am. Well then, welcome to Cloudbury Creek. Ain't much more than a few shacks and a hang of a lot of snow, but welcome nonetheless. Nod. Uh, what? Any work around here? Let's ask for work. Yeah, an airship captain. Yeah, ma'am, that's right. Hmm, off the top of my head, I can't think of any work right now. But I bet you Sheriff Pickford just might. She's the law around here. Let's go and, let's go and talk to Dora, the explorer. Oh. Not the talkative sort. Really not the talkative um, sort. What? What is it? Um, sorry, Mom. I don't mean to cause no perturbance with you. Oh. She's gone back to being quiet again. Ah, I beg your pardon, sir. It's just, let's just say it's been a rough week. Yeah, I'll, I'll be conciliatory. No worries, Mom. I'm Sheriff Pickford. Dora Pickford. The explorer. Them vultures and outlaws, they leave smaller ships alone, but with bigger bit with bit bigger a ship, such as your own transport, well them outlaws be like flies and a fresh cow pie. You best be careful. I say nothing this time. I'll do what I can just to keep the town safe, to preserve some kind of law. But the skies, well, they're a bit out of my reach. I've changed this accent several times now. Uh, bandits tend to leave the guard alone, and as long as they do, this so the guard tends to do likewise. The guard busy <laughs> She's just yakking now, isn't she? Uh, being on her own, it ain't the worst fate could befall you. Hey, man, to that, Rocky. Uh, we like it out here in the middle of nowhere. No guild busybodies around here to tell us what's what. Life's a tad rough here, but we got grits. Actually, there's been some talk about the guild guard... The guild... The kill guides. The guild guard putting a small garrison of soldiers here. Not something any of us have a real liking for. Can't say I blame you. Life here's got enough troubles, don't get me wrong. I appreciate what the guard does to us all, but we don't need no guard soldiers marching up and down our streets, pushing us around, telling us what's what. We'd have to board them too. They're, they'd quarter them all up in our houses. Whew. <laughs> Not interested. Okay, I'll give them the, I'll give them the shrug. Well, it must be going. Busy day. Awful sorry again that I snapped to you. Like I said, it's been a rough week. Not only much we can do here, I don't have the 400 quids. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you've really got a certain amount of range you can go on the map. Uh, but we can probably get to there. 
But yeah, that's um, a taste of what it's like at the moment. Um, still, it's a bit limited as to what you can actually do, but um, you can see how there's a, it's a very heavy emphasis on story and characters and stuff like that. It's not just um, purely about trading or whatever, but it's all about finding new opportunities and whatever. So one move I could do is, once I actually find a way of getting cash, buy the pelts from here. Well, I'll, I'll probably go to Icebox City or Fort Pinckney, try and earn some cash, come back here, buy the pelts, and then I'll go back down to Timberhorn Lake and sell the pelts and make an incredibly pretty penny. And then I could possibly go to Pine Valley Trading Post, Fort Brock, Dire Gate, Mount Doom over there, and so on really, Ames Peak. So as I said, this is at the start of Early Access, so they're going to be expanding the game quite a lot uh, over the course of the next year or whatever. So yeah, this is out on Steam now, on uh, Early Access. So thanks for watching, do check out uh, the rest of my videos, subscribe to the channel to be notified when new stuff goes live, about all the latest and best new indie games around, and if you want to click the link to the Patreon, that will help support me immensely, uh, and all will be good. Uh, see you next time. Bye for now.